In 1901, Daver searching for sponges off a tiny Greek island stumbled upon something impossible. Among shipwreck statues and bronze coins, they found a corroded lump of metal. What lay inside would baffle historians for over a century. An ancient machine with gears, precision, calculations, a computer, 2,000 years ahead of its time. The year was 1901, off the coast of Antikythera. Greek sponge divers came across a shipwreck dating back to the first century BCE. Among its sunken treasures was a calcified chunk of bronze and wood. It didn't look like much. But when archaeologists began to examine it, gears emerged. Cogs, teeth, rotating dials. Not art, not weaponry. A machine. Decades passed before technology caught up. With x-rays and 3D scans, scientists revealed a complex system of more than 30 bronze gears. The Antikythera mechanism could predict eclipses, track planetary movements, even calculate the timing of the Olympic Games. It was, essentially, an analog computer design more than 2,000 years ago, built with a precision rivaling clockwork. But no clocks would exist for over a thousand years. So who built it? Theories point to the ancient Greeks possibly inspired by Archimedes himself. But this level of mechanical complexity? It was believed to be impossible before the 14th century. No similar devices have ever been found. Was it a lost technology, a one-of-a-kind invention? Or proof that ancient science was far more advanced than we imagined? The Antikythera mechanism isn't just a relic. It's a time machine one that rewrote what we thought ancient people could do. It bridges astronomy, mathematics, engineering, and myth. It reminds us what we call modern might just be rediscovery. The future isn't always ahead of us. Sometimes, it's buried behind us. So the next time you hear the word computer, remember the rusted bronze gears pulled from the bottom of the Aegean Sea. And ask yourself, what else have we forgotten? <laughs>